I'm sharing five fascinating things I learned while working as a therapist. This is number three. Perhaps the most wonderful gift that a therapy practice teaches is tolerance. But tolerance isn't really the right word because what I mean, no matter how cheesy it can sound, is love. As a therapist, you need to be able to love your clients. Not in a sexy way, of course, and not in a friendly way either. This is a different kind of love, but it is essential. If you can't practice from a place of love, then the work is unlikely to land. When I first learned this, I thought that it would be really difficult to feel love for every client. But what I found was that rather than being a challenge to access, this therapeutic love is kind of unavoidable. Hearing people's stories, what they've been through that has led to their decisions, the fear, shame and self-loathing that we all battle with in our own way means that you can much more easily start to see past the errors and the questionable acts. It's not that we start to feel okay about people doing bad things. It's that we can know that they haven't done those things because they're fundamentally evil, but because they're struggling. The reason this is so powerful is that it means we can start to let go of the resentful drive to get people back when they mistreat us in some way which just doesn't work. As the old saying goes, holding a grudge is like drinking a mug of poison and then hoping the other guy is going to fall down dead. And it is so true. Resentment and anger just eat us up from the inside out. They use all of our energy and our time. They monopolize our thoughts and block our creativity without affecting the other person at all. And here's the thing, even if they did, it wouldn't solve the original problem. Someone else's pain will never take your pain away, even if that someone else is someone who has hurt you greatly. Getting even is a flawed strategy for feeling better about ourselves. It's far more effective to choose acceptance. This is because acceptance of the other equals acceptance of the self and vice versa. I believe it really is that simple. Learn to operate from a place of love and you'll experience less conflict both inside and out. This is not to say that it's easy necessarily, but then again, the things that are really worth doing in life rarely are. Stay tuned for the remaining two installments of this mini series. Please do like and follow for even more like this. And as always, I really hope this helps. Finally, if you'd like to take an epic journey through a magical world in the name of mental wellness, then you can download Betwixt, which is available on the iOS App Store and Google Play.